here again everybody so this is going to be my toiletries and everything I brought I did bring quite a lot so I'm just going to get straight into it some stuff I had to chuck out at the airport because when they weighed my case it was too heavy and they said I had to empty stuff out so some of my toiletries was the stuff that I emptied out but then I was really annoyed because then when I went to check back in and the I went to a different lady and she was like your bag wasn't that much over you could have just kept it but I was like do you know what it's all out of the case now I'm just gonna leave it so I had to leave with my parents so I did have to buy some stuff when I got here so I'm just gonna run through everything so I bought some hairspray when I got here because I had to chuck that out and this is the Sun Silk hairspray ultra strong hold the Phil Smith Life's a Beach sea salt spray which is what I've used in my hair yesterday and it just kind of like tames the curls a little bit more so quite like that a mini soap and glory heel genius and soap and glory hand food back to 50 sun cream because it's boiling here at the moment i think today it's like 36 degrees so it's hot um super drug lemon fresh deodorant this is my favorite one although that's nearly run out so i'm gonna have to buy another one here then in this clear bag i've got my simple toner a spare toothbrush, simple wipes, and then I've got another pack of them somewhere. Yep, two packs simple wipes, a mini eye makeup remover, body shop um, cleansing balm. I did a review of that, which I'll link below. And I've also got um, my toner from Simple, no, my cleanser from Simple, even. Then I've got two moisturisers. This one has got Factor 15 SPF in it and this one's just a normal um, hydrating moisturiser. So they're both the same but one's just got the Factor 15 in it. Um, perfume I brought was this from Accessorise. This is called Charm. It smells really nice. I got this from Secret Centre at work one year. A little toothbrush that gets in like the back of your teeth. A Balance B Radiance Mask in case I wanted to have a bit of luxury and do a face mask. My Swarovski got to be hair um, souffle. I just use this, um, it smells nice, but I just use this to like any flyaway bits. I just run it through my hair and it just kind of tames it a bit more. I bought this as a mini simple moisturiser to take on the plane with me in case I wanted to wash my face and use that after. Then I've also got a mirror and mango hand cream. Just some feminine wipes and some pink grapefruit hand sanitizer from the body shop after sun spray which I haven't actually used because I've not actually been out in the sun that much I've been really good um, I've got my Dior oh this should have been my makeup one sorry my Dior um, lip balm which I've used quite a lot of and then also this lip balm, I think I've got this one of my beauty boxes by Pixie. And it's just a red lip balm, I really like that. I think that's it, the rest of this in there is just like inhalers for my asthma and things like that. So that's what I've got in that bag. Just clearing some space. Then in here I've got mainly kind of like mini things that I wanted to try and use up. So I bought this over here, it's just a body spray, just um pink grapefruit one like a really cheap one it smells really nice but one I could just have in my bag um, vitamin E night cream from the body shop from the beauty advent calendar last year a mini it's potent eye cream from benefit that I got in one of my beauty boxes then I've got these that are in my sample bag I've got two razors with some shaving cream and then like a toothbrush I bought this from the body shop, it's Honey and Oat 3 in 1 scrub mask just in case I get some dry skin and just want to use like a bit of a scrubby mask on my face. Urban Decay All Night Setting Spray, I'll actually show you what leaked but some of it leaked in here so some of the stuff has stained which is really great. Um, Righteous Butter Mini from Soap and Glory, another hand sanitizer from the body shop, this is the strawberry one. A mini scrub of your life from Soap and Glory. My little tin of Vaseline for my lips. I have to put that on every night before I go to bed. A vitamin E intensive moisture cream from the body shop. And oh, I love it. I really like these from the body shop. Simple face scrub just in case. Again, I wanted to use another face scrub. This is from 
super drug. This is the Vitamin E Moisture Mask in case I get really dry skin. Spare toothpaste from super drug. My um, Sultan from Boots. This is the lip protector because that year that I burnt my lip, I've learned that I always need that on now when I'm out in the sun. Strawberry hand cream from the body shop and another strawberry hand cream from the body shop. This is another one, Vitamin E Moisture Cream from the body shop. This is the day one, I think. I'm sure this is the day cream and the other one's the night cream but I'd probably still just use both of them for the night because they're quite thick um, just my razor then a balance me wonder eye cream and this is what leaks it's the Phil Smith total tree transforming Ar Aragon Argon oil and I just bought this in case with the sun my hair might get a bit dry etc so I bought this but you can see I haven't actually used this but it's down to there that's how much leaked out obviously on the plane I have kind of washed it all and everything and I've wrapped it in some tissue in here because I was like I don't want it to leak anymore so I wrapped it all up in some tissue I'm just going to do that again because it's come out so yeah wrapped it all up in some tissue and everything so that was all the toiletry stuff that I bought with me. I say quite a lot and quite excessive, a lot of people would probably say. Oh, just trying to fix my razor. So yeah, quite excessive that some people would say, but I was like, I don't really want to come out here and spend my money buying things that I've already got at home. So a lot of these bits I'll use up like as I go along. So yeah, that's why I kind of bought quite a lot with me. But anyway, so as I say, next week I will be in the camper van I will obviously show the camper van etc and blog as much as I can obviously I need to check with Laura to see if she's happy to be in them so I can blog a bit more and everything but hopefully she will be and I can vlog like quite a lot of it and then that can be the next week's video with like a long vlog that's a bit more interesting than me just sitting here chatting about what I bought with me so I hope everyone's doing well and I will see you by next video bye <music>